All right, so in this video, we are gonna be going through the Extreme Z Awakenings for four different Bardocks, obviously focusing on the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock because he is the Dokkan Fest unit, but we also have uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for the Tech Super Saiyan Bardock, the Fizz Super Saiyan Bardock, and also the STR Super Saiyan 2 Bardock, all dropping on Global within the next um, like 14 hours or so from the time this video comes out. So. Uh, with that said, we'll start here with Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And uh, yeah, before his Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Super Saiyan 3 category, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%, or Super Int types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack, immense damage, medium chance to steal super attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. All super class allies attack plus 40% when HP is 70% or below. So that is a pre-easy A, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now, jumping over to the Extreme Z Awakening now. New leader skill is Super Saiyan 3 category key plus 3, HP attack defense plus 170% or Super Int types key plus 3, HP attack defense plus 120%. Uh, super attack raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and seals super attack. And passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 100%, uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when, when performing a super attack. Super class allies attack plus 50%, launches an additional super attack when there is another beyond uh, power beyond Super Saiyan category ally attacking in the same turn. So. Honestly, I feel like this EZA is quite underwhelming. Um, I mean, offensively, I think he's decent. Like, he will do some pretty okay damage. Nothing insane, but, like, good damage, right? He'll put out some good attack stats. But uh, his defense is very, very lacking, guys. It's, it's really... Um, not gonna hold up in some of the harder events in the game even after a super even after a double super um he's still taking a lot of damage in hard events so yeah um i'm not loving the cza i do love the support i love the fact that it's 50 percent unconditionally for super class which is you know amazing right that's that's really good support but outside of that um there's not that much to be impressed by. There's really not that much to be impressed by. I mean, sealing super attacks is always nice, but, you know, he had that before. Uh, oh, actually, I just realized it's from medium chance to guaranteed. But yeah, guaranteed seal is nice, but, you know, a lot of enemies these days can't be sealed, so that also won't be a factor uh, a lot of times. And I don't know. I just, I just wish they did more with him. It feels very minimal as far as the upgrade goes uh not to say that like he's not much better because he is much much better than his pre eza state it's just he could have been a lot better he could have been a lot better defensively for sure so um yeah you know nothing much more to say i i don't think it's awesome i don't think it's like the worst eza we have ever seen but it's definitely um in my opinion like a lower tier doka fest eza as a whole so that's the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, a quick look at the stats post EZA. We got 18,929 HP, 18,560 attack, and 12,527 defense, of course, at rainbow status, right? So that is the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. I just realized that I didn't um, pull up the Extreme Z battle event, so let's take a look at that as well. Okay, so as far as the weakness goes, it's storied figures. It's dropping on March 8th, 2023. And then uh, there's some, of course, additional damage reduction here to keep in mind. So after level uh, 3, he has 70% damage reduction against extreme tech types, which makes sense. And then after level uh, 12, there's additional damage reduction of 80% against AGL and extreme tech. So don't bring any uh, tech units, essentially, or AGL units if you want to do damage because he's getting a massive amount of damage reduction against those types. And uh, from there, uh, there's no other damage reduction uh, differences, I believe. So 
uh there you have it that is the extreme z battle event now let's take a look at the other bardocks the side bardocks right so um starting with the tech super saiyan bardock leader skill is tech and agl type skill plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn a supreme damage and seals super attack and passive is changes str key spheres to tech key spheres attack plus 130 percent and defense plus 180 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus 30 percent per tech key sphere obtained plus an additional attack and defense plus 18 percent per key sphere obtained that's not a tech key sphere and a medium chance of launching an additional super attack with three or more key spheres obtained plus an additional attack plus 50% and performs a critical hit critical hit with eight or more key spheres obtained so this guy became a very good nuker they essentially turned them into uh turned him into the uh tech androids the dokkan fest androids and uh yeah just based on like how i mean i guess compared to expectations compared to like what we expected from a dokkan fest dza in the super saiyan 3 bardock to this guy where the expectations are going to be a bit lower because he's not a Dokkan Fest unit. Um, he definitely outperforms uh, expectations, I, I would say. Um, it's just a really good Extreme Z Awakening for this tech uh, Bardock, honestly. And uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty useful. He's honestly, arguably, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like arguably these side unit Bardocks are actually more impressive than the main Dokkan Fest Bardock, which is just really weird. It, it, it's really strange. But yeah, a good EZA right there for Tech Bardock. I think Fizz Bardock is even better. Uh, so leader skill is all types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack greatly raises defense for one turn, it causes supreme damage and seals, seals the enemy super attack. And the passive is Defense plus 318%, attack plus 180% when performing a super attack, all allies, key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30%, guards all attacks within the turn um, after receiving an attack, plus an additional defense plus 30% within the same turn when guard is activated. So this guy is just a really good defender, man. Really good defender, you got the guard, you got the... 318% defense, got the additional 30% defense. Is he going to be hitting super hard? Not really, but he provides a really good support. Um, so, yeah, this guy's awesome. I think he's probably the best or the most impressive of all the Bardocks that we're going to see here. And uh, once again, you know, just like way outperforming what we would have expected, way outperforming expectations. Unlike the Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, where we had much higher expectations, and he really falls short of that okay lastly we have the str super saiyan 2 bardock leader skill all types key plus 3 hp attack and defense plus 80 percent super attack supreme damage raises attack for six turns with a high chance of stunning the enemy and the passive is key plus 3 attack and defense plus 180 percent plus an additional defense plus 50 percent with each super attack performed up to 180 percent launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack launches another additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there is another Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3 category ally attacking in the same turn, and then all allies attack plus 30%. So to me, this is kind of like a in-between of the other two um, side Bardocks, right? The other two Super Saiyan Bardocks, where um, he has a good mix of attack and defense uh, capabilities, you know, uh, not as good support as the Fizz Bardock, but, um, you know, solid support. And, uh, you know, a couple of additional supers, possibly, uh, some pretty good defense, some pretty good offense, uh, but nothing spectacular in either uh, category, right? So, uh, just a good all-around unit, I think, after the Extremes the Awakening. And, uh, yeah, those are all the Bardocks, guys. Um, I I'm sure it's, it it's become pretty clear that I'm not, like, that high on <laughs> into Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. He definitely... Uh, disappointed me a little bit. Um, I love this unit. I love Bardock. I love Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and it's just a little bit sad that like he um, didn't get the upgrade I feel like he deserves and uh, he's not gonna age super well because even now like at initial release he's already not amazing right so like you know give it a couple of months give it a year uh, he's 
basically not going to be used in most situations, which kind of sucks. So um, there you go, guys. That is my breakdown. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all these Bardocks. And uh, yeah, uh, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.